A jury is now in place for the trial of a man accused of killing a Racine police officer in June of 2019. But due to the pandemic, jury selection was a totally different process. Our Angelica Sanchez joining us live in Racine with more on the adjustments that had to be made. Angie? That's right, Ted. Jury selection took place inside Memorial Hall, a place where people can space out much easier. A lot of precautions are clearly going into place to resume this case as safely as possible. Since the juror questionnaires went out, there have been some significant changes to the world. A setup that resembles a concert more than a courtroom. This is the first step in resuming a high-profile case. We are in the middle of a pandemic, and the country has experienced significant civil unrest. Last summer, 26-year-old Delquavius Ward was arrested and accused of killing Racine police officer John Hetlin inside Teaser's bar. Authorities say Ward was trying to commit an armed robbery when the off-duty officer tried to stop him. Ward's trial was delayed once at the start of the year. It was delayed again due to the pandemic. Is there anybody that feels they have a significant health concern related to the pandemic that they feel is necessary to share with the court and the parties. On Monday, social distancing was center stage during jury selection, which took place inside Memorial Hall, where people could be spaced out. Potential jurors were asked a series of questions. Above all was to remain impartial and to listen to all the evidence. Does anybody on this panel feel that they have such strong feelings on these issues that they may directly impact their ability to be fair and unbiased in this criminal case. Kenosha's District Attorney Michael Gravely is prosecuting the case out of concern there would be a conflict of interest. Meanwhile, Ward's defense team told Fox 6 they would not be speaking to reporters at this stage of the trial. Now, a jury has been selected. Opening statements are scheduled to take place tomorrow, this time inside the Racine County Courthouse. Live in Racine, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. Interesting changes there. All right, Angelica, thank you.